When drawing blood, you want to apply pressure on the paw and stretch the leg like I'm doing there. Then feel for the vein, insert the needle. Once you see a little bit of blood in the needle, you know you're in the right place. And just proceed to draw two to three cc's is perfectly fine for this test then you're going to want to transfer it to a red top empty tube do it on the side like i'm doing there carefully to avoid breaking any red cells ignore my cheap nail polish and if you don't have a centrifuge you can just leave it standing for two to three hours until it separates the blood from the serum and that's it hi everyone Anai with Casa Royal Lineage Bulldogs um, on this video I'm going to show you how we do our progesterone testing for our Bulldog females um, so we use this kit it's Target K9 ovulation kit and so it comes with some pipettes this is a kit of 12 pieces we've used a few of them um, so it comes with some cups this is the cups for your testing and then it comes with all this liquid formulas that you need um, in order to do your progesterone testing. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to pull blood from your female. And um, I'm gonna show you a quick video here on how we do it. It takes like two or three people. <laughs> um, really, me and my husband can do it, but if the females are a little nervous or when they already know what's going on they kind of don't want to wait what you're also going to need is a timer and this is just a regular timer you can use um, your phone um, you can use your watch but uh, timing is very important all the instructions are in the kit and uh, let's get started. Okay, so once you pull the blood and um, spin it down, or you can spin it down, or you can also just leave it um, sitting, uh, standing up, for a total of two hours. What you are going to use is this top part that you see here, the white, excuse my cheap nail polish. Um, so what you see down here is the red blood cell separated from the white blood cells, the serum or the plasma. So this is what you want to use. Um, I usually spin it down for 20 or 30 minutes and then just leave it there sitting a little while. And I'm just gonna open it already to have it ready. You really only need four drops of that serum but so you want to collect anything between two to three cc's and i'm going to separate everything i have this sheet where it's telling me all the steps and then i have this as a reference to um but i like to separate everything how we go empty this this is old okay so 
I like to separate everything. You have to make sure this kit has to be in the fridge at all times if you're not using it. And then just make sure that you take it 10 minutes before so it can get to room temperature. You can also warm it up um, in your hands. And here it tells you it has numbers too. So I'm gonna place everything on each of the steps. Sample wash. A and B. Okay, so I'm gonna move the camera just a little so you're able to see the whole process. As I'm done with them, I keep this near and then just place them back in there just so I know that I don't need anything else from there. So here's all my little cups separated and For the first step, I need to wait two minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes. And so your first step is to get the serum or the plasma and drop. There's something in here. And drop four drops of it right in the center of the cup it comes with the little pipettes you only want to get the white stuff none of the red and then I'm going to drop one two three four and start my timer. So I have um, used this target test for um, a few times for a few of my females and also the person that showed me how to do inseminations and the one that did the insemination the first time for us this is what they use they are a huge um, they have quite a few females and they have bulldog puppies all year round so they have great success with this. And um, one of the benefits is that you don't have to take your female, especially in such a vulnerable time like it is when they are on the heat cycle to the bed where there's sick dogs and um, they can literally pick up anything during this time. So um, I just prefer to do this if I ever have a female that is too difficult to draw blood then I will definitely take it to the bed. Okay, I have 10 seconds. The next step is going to be the sample wash. I'm going to add two drops right to the center and then I'm gonna wait for the liquid to drain and then do it again. Then on my next step, I'm going to do my one minute. So, it's two, one, 
to wait for it to drain and then repeat one two so I'm done with this then I'm going to add one drop of this enzyme bottle and it's gonna be a minute so now add it one and start my timer then my next step is going to be once that one minute is up it's going to be um, the target wash and so I'm going to add 10 drops of this and then Tell you this step that I'm doing. So 10 drops of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. And then I'm just gonna wait to drain. And then what I did is I mixed the A and B solutions into this mixing bottle. And make sure that it's really mixed and then I'm gonna add nine minutes to my timer and all I need is two drops of this one two start my timer and then just wait for this bottle to um, change colors put everything back into the little sponge this part anything that I didn't use like the sample wash I usually like to say that this is good for 30 minutes after you mix both of them um, in case I need to repeat the test for whatever reason, if I feel like the, like the test is off or something's not right, um, then I do repeat the test. And that's why I don't get rid of my serum yet. We still have three minutes left. So the way that this works is that in the center of the cup, you're gonna see the change. This is actually our four tests that we do on Hera. Um, so I am going to put pictures here of the progress with the dates um, that I've been taking over this past few days. And what you're going to see is a change from light blue, from bright blue on the first day to light blue to whatever we get today which I'm not seeing a lot of change yet so um, anywhere between faint blue and white you can inseminate I usually like to inseminate when they are on faint blue 
and then run another test um, in two days and if they're on the white then I'll inseminate again and then in two days again run another test and if they are still on the white or a little bit of faint blue I'll go ahead and inseminate sometimes they're short they're ovulation period it's too short so from faint from white they can go the next day or the next time I test to back to bright blue again then I want to inseminate again so again just to recap that I do inseminate when they are on faint blue I don't know if you can see that faint blue and then I retest again and if they're on white, inseminate again in two days and then retest again in two days and if they are still on the white or faint blue, I go ahead and inseminate again. We have only a few seconds left and I don't see colors so that's exciting news um, yesterday she was a light blue so I am surprised that she will be at a white okay so the nine minutes up, up. here you can see that there's absolutely no color on it so that means she is at the white and should be inseminated immediately um, I'll let you know what happens 